Carro. Hello my Taurus friends, this is Guiding Halo and this is just going to be an energy snapshot for the week of the 6th to the 13th of October. See what's going on for you guys. Could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius and if you are, please go ahead and read or listen to their reading as a cross watcher and see what's going on with them. We have the chariot moving forward at a fast pace, an important achievement, self-discipline, willpower, public recognition. Wow, guys. Ooh, the wheel of fortune will spin in your favor. Hot dang, a time of positive change. The situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. There's that Aries Leo Sagittarius energy again. I've been seeing for you guys while I shuffled. Ten of Pentacles. Dang, oh dang, oh dang. And the sun card. Holy crap. You could be dealing with a Leo child here. Someone could be offering you some money or something that's really going to help you move forward and cut out the BS and the lack of balance in your life. Oh my, oh my. Someone could be coming into your life. A new move to a new home, place of employment. Buckling down, getting the work done. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Could be a lawyer. It's always my lawyer card. This could have something to do with a Cancer. The Chariot's the Cancer card as well. Between a Cancer and a Leo, there's going to be success here. Yes, there is. Challenging information, however. Ah, an ingenious idea about how to handle a new start. I want the new Aries Leo Sagittarius coming out again. I want the new and there's an ingenious idea. So tapping into your intuition, what you're creative and passionate about gives you an ingenious idea. Messages you're going to send out at a very fast pace about that as to how to come out of the cold with somebody or... Taking communication to somebody where there's been none. Bringing healing to a situation. Absolutely. And it's a wish granted for you. You guys, this is so beautiful. Wow. Yeah, look at that walking away from emotional turmoil. Straight to what? Your Nine of Cups. At a very fast pace, I might add, the Sun card out here again, Ten of Pentacles, financial abundance coming your way. Someone may be getting a job offer or an offer in a way that really brings in the abundance. A time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves forward, fortune is on your side. The Wheel of Fortune could have something to do with a Virgo or going inward, seeing where you've been, trying to figure out where it is you're going to head next. Bringing an end to something could be dealing with a Scorpio coming into your life. That's a very positive thing in some way transforms like your broken heartedness. Transforms the need to be holding on to money so tightly. Could be in the form of an Aries or an Aries. You've had an ending with an Aries and it's broke your heart. Holding on to your feelings tightly, holding on to your something tightly. Concerned about lying, cheating, and stealing, trying to get out while the getting's good. Someone's had an ending here, and it's about to turn around in a massive way. Something is about to transform in a way you never imagined. Could have to do with a judge. It's a wish granted. Brings healing. Brings absolute healing. Look at that. Same as over here. It brings balance as well. You're an exceptional multitasker. There is a major wish granted coming your way. Some, a situation you've been dealing with for a while is going to end. Or perhaps a wait. You've been in wait and that is going to end. Going inward and asking the divine for clarity about what to do. Yep, because there's confusion. There's so many options as to how to move forward that you're not exactly sure which one to take. 
because it has to do with something you feel committed to on a soul level. Two people or a, two somethings the divine's trying to bring together. Now this could be something that you love to do in business, something that you love to do for passion, something that someone you love to do. <laughs> Sorry, it could be a Pisces. Not seeing the positive in that situation. Eh? <laughs> Sorry, I got a Taurus in mind and chuckling about. Anyways, yeah, not seeing the positive in that comment. Thank you very much. Why are we not seeing the positive here? Because it has something to do with you've been down this road before. It's karmic ties. You want to let it go. You want to end, end all the karmic ties. But in some way, shape, or form, this is not over. And the divine is asking you to get on it i wonder if oh it's some oh <laughs> so the pisces or the aries or the virgo or the scorpio or whoever in this situation has been the one that's hold making the pause happen i think you've tried but they've had a pause going on the divine's working on them page of pentacles the inflow of abundance good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study scholarly dependable patient and successful that's you guys hands down whoopsie daisies an awakening look at things from a different perspective a temporary standstill it's important to be yourself yep you've been waiting this whole thing here it's all gonna spin forward it really is I promise you, and you're going to be able to take that leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. King of Fire, there's that Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from someone creative could be a Virgo. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. All right, the reason I say it could be a Virgo is because it's the Hermit card, but the Hermit's twice, so you could just be going inward, like seriously inward about... A new person, maybe. Oh, someone could be bringing a child your way. Or you could be getting pregnant. So careful with that. Your children on earth and heaven are happy and well cared for by God. And the angels. If you're concerned about how to provide for your children, stop. The divine has them. You have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurity to hold you back. I'll help you. I am the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. If you are not married... Or you have never been married and maybe it's something you never want to do. Perhaps that's this soul calling that's calling you and you're like, nah, I don't know about that crap. Perhaps you'd like to be married and the divine is working on bringing your life partner to you. You have a gift for working with young people and children. Your divine purpose involves it, teaching them. Look at this. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. What a beautiful reading, my Taurus friends. This pull a wisdom of the hidden realms. The Swan Queen. Transformation, intuition, and patience. Well, you've got that in spades. You guys are transforming a situation that you've been waiting on to the absolute utmost beauty that you can even imagine. And it's all about following your divine purpose. How beautiful is this, y'all? How beautiful? Y'all let me know if it resonates. Talk to you again soon. Blessings.